here's the thing. What, what a lot of these guys don't realize is that we're – the Nevada State Athletic Commission oversees the UFC. Okay. They, they – they, you know, just like they suspend him and, and, and are going to suspend, you know, his buddy, they can do that to me. Mm -hmm. They can do that to the mm -hmm. UFC. They, they can do it's the government. They can do whatever they want to do. Got it. That's what a lot of these guys don't realize. So they think these guys think at the end of the day that I am the end all be all most powerful guy. Yeah, they blame you say, all the time. Exactly. <laughs> that, they that, blame that, you all the time. That it's me. This isn't me. This is the Nevada State Athletic Commission. And absolutely what Conor McGregor did was wrong. But Conor McGregor was arrested. He went to jail. Yeah. He had to go before, you know, he, he had to come here, go to court, pay tons of money and, and go through the system the way that he did. Now, in Nevada, Habib jumps over the cage. His buddy jumps into the cage. They start attacking Connor. This can't happen. Right. It cannot happen. So, so th there are rules. There are penalties. And now we will go before the Nevada State Athletic Commission. And this whole thing will shake out however it shakes out. It's not me it. going after his guy for jumping in. Well, Dana let Connor say yeah. this. And they do always that. say Dana. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's the Nevada it's the State law. Athletic Commission. It's yeah. the law. Yeah. Right. Exactly. You're like, it's I got law. power, but not yeah. that much power. Connor thought he could yeah. fly in from Ireland and throw things through buses and, you, and no, he, you go to jail, to jail and went to court and got lucky that it didn't turn out worse for exactly him. right and like that wasn't sure to go connor's way exactly and this is exactly what's going to happen to to habib and his and his crew mm -hmm. when when they go before the nevada state athletic commission so meantime there's a heavyweight title fight going on coming up yep and it occurs to me, not only in boxing has it changed, where the heavyweight championship of the world is not always the biggest prize anymore, right? Pacquiao and Mayweather, guy starts at flyweight and junior lightweight, they make the biggest fights. But in the UFC, it's never really been the heavyweight title that's been the biggest deal. Maybe because once upon a time, the light heavyweights were where it was at. Yeah. But you got the heavyweight championship of the world. How important is it for the UFC, and we can talk about the matchup in a second, to, to pump that up, that the heavyweight championship of the world, right. the baddest man on the planet, means something. Well, I think it's always – it always has to do with the fights. Who's the, who's the champ and who's fighting? And obviously, Cormier is one of the greatest of all time. I mean, this guy is the He's current special. light heavyweight champion and the current heavyweight champion. You couldn't ask for a better human being. You couldn't ha ask for a better world champion to represent the sport. Who the believes he was else. cheated out of his rightful place versus John Bones Jones mm -hmm. by cheating? Like, he believes that. Right. Oh, no, he definitely believes that. And uh, now you have Derek Lewis coming off an incredible win, um, you know, uh, on the Habib Connor mm, yep, card. And yeah. uh, the, the guy is super interesting, uh, incredibly powerful, can end the fight with one punch, and he's the number two ranked guy in the world. I got I to got, I chime keeps in. Upset, hold on, keeps Max. upsetting the odds. Hold on, Max. I got, I got to chime in here because you're going to laugh at this. Now, Dana, love you, man. I, I got to ask you. Derek Lewis, 21 and 5, nicknamed the Black Beast. Yep. Got a lifetime deal for free Popeyes. Okay? <laughs> lifetime deal for free Popeyes. All right? I ain't, yeah. I ain't mad at him. I'm mad at him. <laughs> Tremendous power. I got it. <laughs> but UFC 229 was October 6th. Yeah. What's today's day? I mean, this is this, this, four, four weeks later. I mean, like four how they weeks. Do it in the old days. I mean, right. does, yeah. does a guy does a guy that has a, that has a lifetime deal with Popeyes <laughs> need to be uh, who almost passed? I mean, Max, he almost, listen. Even though he won the fight, he almost lost the fight because he was damn near ready to pass out. Yeah. Does that guy need to be fighting four weeks later against Daniel Cormier? Yes. And, and actually, if you know fighting, you're better off to keep a guy like that active. Mm -hmm. Keep him in there. Keep him active. He, he'll be in better shape for this fight than he's been for any uh, previous oh, fight. So you're, saying, you're saying a longer layoff might have been worse. Yeah. There are been guys that, yeah. Yeah. Yep. There are James guys, Tony. Exactly. Yeah. There oh, are guys Lord. out there that long layoffs is the worst thing that can ever oh, happen gosh, to James them. Tony they blow up. Good. They put on weight. They don't stay in shape. They don't stay active. You're going to see the best Derek Lewis you've ever seen in this fight. Uh, coming off his camp, Fighting the fight that he fought. But Dana, it ain't going to be enough. Well, actually, actually, I, actually, I'm not sure. actually, I don't think you're right about that because he's going against Daniel Corby. Yeah. But the other thing is, th th these are the type of fights that people always say, oh, this is exactly how this fight's going to go. This right. guy's going to lose. Lewis this got a that. puncher's yeah. chance he, always. Yes, he does. He, yeah. Exactly. Yes, he, does. Yep. he does. No he, question about that. All it takes that. is one punch to change that fight for, for this kid. No question. Dana, I want to ask you about John Bones Jones because I feel like he's the greatest of all time. He is He's going to be back 232. What can we expect from him? You know, we, we, we wanted him to be on this New York card. Mm -hmm. Didn't work out. He wasn't in shape. He needs to, you know, he's in camp right now. Um, I do believe 
that layoffs hurt guys. Um, you know, but if you look at layoffs and all the things that can be negative toward a fighter, how much does it really hurt John Jones? Because he was that much He's better so than everybody else. I disagree with all three of you. John Jones could have been the greatest of all time. His peak may have been the highest, but part of greatness is sustaining it, staying yeah. out of trouble, keeping your nose clean. He's like the Aaron Rodgers, so the, oh, the most talented. Oh, right. Oh, You're right. Oh, He's the Aaron Rodgers of the What you trying to say? I'm what exactly that, are you saying about John Bone Jones? I'm saying John Jones may have achieved the highest peak, but he is not the greatest MMA fighter or UFC fighter of I'm all I'm saying time. at the time yeah. you saw him fighting, well, did you see somebody that you thought was better? Anime. The best I, I and the greatest are two different the greatest things. Talent. Right. Yeah. He's the greatest talent that we've ever seen in Agreed. there, and I don't disagree with you. All yeah. of the things that you say are true. To be truly the greatest and to be the best of all time, you have to have all the other things. And he still has a chance, right? Like, yeah. he can come back but and cement his legacy. Freak. Of nature, yeah. talent that could have, you know. I mean, look at the and family. Maybe still can. The two brothers both play in the NFL. Can he yep. still, Dana? Can he still do it, do you think? At his age, given his history, can he still cement his legacy? He's the greatest ever. That's the question. That's the great question. If he can come back and, 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 and win the title again um, after all he's been through, I mean, even, even the things that you just laid out, be tough to deny that he's the greatest ever. He can stay out of trouble. See, it has to be like Tom Brady to be the greatest ever, <laughs> like five Super Bowls. He needs continue. Belichick. We need to get yeah. John Jones but Belichick. Has a, Max but has it, it both true. ways. You talk about sustainability, but in the same breath, talent. somebody you like Tom Brady who does it is falling off a cliff. I said he's the greatest of all time. I said Brady's right. the greatest of all time. Right. He's falling but, off a cliff. But when you look at, when, when, when you call somebody the GOAT, you look at what Brady has done yeah. and, and, and consistently yes. still playing at 41 years old. The and that's what makes you the greatest. We can talk about how John Jones could have been the greatest. Greatest talent. And if he comes back and does this, it's hard to deny. All right. Yeah. Dana, appreciate you. Looking forward to Saturday. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.